YouTube. Today I have a little project, super shitty outside. Not a lot of car related things are able to happen recently. Hopefully you've been enjoying my videos, um, pumping out as many as I can given the weather situation. This lighting is prime, guys. I actually attached it to my lamp. Today I'm actually doing something that I've always wanted to do. It's a little bit of a mod. Sun visors of every car, there are stickers. And usually there's some sort of warning sticker, airbag sticker. I just think it looks bad. I think I want to clean up the look. So in the BMW, of course it's black leather. Well, the sun visors aren't really fully leather or whatever, but see if I can actually remove the labels from it so it's just black. If I have any luck, I might try it on the Jeep as well because I know that there's some on there. Um, however, the visors are not leather, so I don't really know if that really matters. Uh, of course, no car washing because there's uh, rain, salt, snow, and all that in the last like week. No detailing videos right now. So crappy out, as you can see. Quick update on the BMW, I still have it of course. I know it hasn't been in any videos recently, but she's been sitting for about a week because of how shitty it's been outside. So, you know, when there's salt and snow and all that on the roads, I'm not driving it obviously, but as soon as it gets dry, even if it's 30, 40 degrees, I'm gonna take it out just because I want to drive it. I would like to do a little vacuum job in here, so we'll see if I feel like doing that. Anyway, so here are the labels, obviously. I'm going to take these things off, bring them inside just so I'm not working out here. It's actually not too bad, like 40 degrees or so, which is cold, but it's not 15. Right, guys here they are both of the sun visors here let's bring them inside and this hopefully I can take care of that I believe is from a garage door opener well, that kind of sucks I'll just put some leather treatment on it or something so even though these aren't really leather they kind of look nice though they don't feel good but they look good look how foggy it is guys all right guys in the kitchen which we are never in Got both these bad boys here. I just did a little bit of reading online. I'm gonna be using some isopropyl alcohol. Obviously you can pick it up. Man, is that focusing? There we go. Isopropyl alcohol. This is 91%, but I wanna dilute it a little bit because it's too strong. Probably wanna dilute it closer to 70, so if you have one that's 70, that's easier. I'm just gonna put some in this cup here and honestly just put some water in. I'm not, it's not, <laughs> It's not really a serious science, I'm just going to put maybe a third of it with water. I don't really see why it would be a big deal. Probably not the best idea to use a uh, solo cup, but temporary quick project. Grab a paper towel here, and make sure to use the side that if you get the fancy ones with the stupid designs, I, I didn't really pay attention when I bought them last, but uh, these will streak. So if you wipe your windows or you do something like that, the color is streaking on it, which is really a horrible idea so uh, make sure you use the white side if you can I'm honestly just gonna hold this and pour it on I'd rather use a spray bottle so the idea is just to make sure that each of these uh, stickers are being soaked I think it's about you know 10 to 20 minutes so I'm gonna set a timer here set this timer for I'll set it 10 minutes come back in about 10 minutes as you can see, I was able to pick off just a little bit. So let's see how easy that is and we'll go from there. Pretty difficult, the, the yellow is coming off pretty easily, but uh, I've been scraping here for a little bit. I think I'm gonna do another five to 10 minutes of this uh, soaking i read a little bit online that people were leaving it for um, 10 minutes and then re-soaking this and then leaving it for another 10 minutes so we'll see if that works
All right guys, quick update here. As you can see, this guy is almost done. And you probably saw me switching back and forth uh, where I'd let the paper towel soak on this one and then work on the other one. And as soon as the work on the other one started to get more difficult than I felt that I could get with my nail, I put the paper towel back on it and then went back to this one. So I kept swapping back and forth several times. And I think that that um, is a pretty good strategy unless you use heat. Um, I actually did try once. I don't think I'm going to show it, but I put the iron just like an inch or two above this and it um, softened it up, but I don't really think it made a difference. I think that the IPA and water is really what's making this soft. I tried it like once or twice with the iron just to, I held it above it. Of course, don't touch it. Or if you want to use a heat gun, I've seen people use heat guns, but um, I don't have one and I don't have any way to get it hot unless I use the iron or go buy a heat gun. And I'm not doing that tonight. That's my strategy. Let's finish this thing up and uh, I'll give you an update in just one second. God, I went to one CVS and two Walgreens to find this. I wasn't making as much progress as I wanted with the IPA and water mix. So I looked up online and people were using Goo Gone. So that's gonna be my next way of getting the rest of it off. And not to mention that I had to go to two Chipotle's to find a Chipotle that had chicken because they were out. And the Chipotle I went to, all the chips were mushy. So tonight is not a good night, guys. Roll with the punches sometime. Hey guys, so I didn't get to finish the video last night because it was taking super long. As you can see, I picked up some Goo Gone. I'm not really convinced that that made a huge difference. I went to a bunch of stores. I actually had to go to three places to find it. Of course, everyone was either out or they just flat out didn't have it, which is super frustrating. So it ended up being a couple hour project. And I even checked a bunch of YouTube videos to see what else everyone was doing. And they did the same process. They used Goo Gone, they used heat. Um, where they used IPA. I found that if I didn't dilute the IPA, I just used like straight 91%. That worked a little bit better if I let it soak for like, you know, 10 minutes or so, but it was still a huge, it ended up being a much bigger and involved project than I wanted it to be, but I have the results that I have right now. I'm gonna work on it just a little bit more today, um, but I'm gonna end the video now because I have a bunch of other stuff to do. So here's one of them. Um, as you can see, uh, obviously I have a little bit more work to do, but I wanted to, you know, get this part in that this is the hardest part to get off. And normally like when you watch other people's videos, the uh, glue ends up moving and uh, kind of moving around and you can scrape it up. But for some reason, the, <laughs> the way that it's stuck on this vinyl, I don't know what it is. It's just so difficult. And here's the other one. So that's going to do it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and this helped you. If you have a BMW and you have those, I believe they're vinyl sun visors, be ready for a decent, you know, a couple hour project and to be scraping with your thumb because I used a plastic razor blade, rag, and a bunch of other stuff. My, my fingernail was the best. Unfortunately, my thumbs are like sore now. I actually have a couple cool videos I'm gonna film today, so I've gotta end this one right now. And appreciate you guys watching. Subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.